This video is brought to you by the Crazy Aquarium Guy. Hello, fish lovers. Welcome to Zach's Tanks. Unboxing a lot of aquarium stuff today. Let's get to it. Let's go. Okay. Oh, this is just some hexamita. Hole in the head and bloat. Best for hole in the head. Something that you want to have at home. And a really narrow pleco cave. My other pleco caves are from this and bigger, or a stone that's big but the opening is small. I don't have a really small one like this, so I want to try this with the L52 on the floor in the kitchen to see if that's the problem. Probably not, but still. And of course... <coughs> One of the great things you need in a fish room, a rapashi. I use different kinds of rapashi, but this grub pie seems to be delicious to <laughs> fancy, expensive plecos and corridoras. And as you know, in the rainbow tank alone, I have 60 corridoras, and in the whole fish room, I have a lot of plecos. So, this is gonna be great. I'm not gonna use Purely this though, I'm gonna mix it in with some super green or soylent green to make it a little bit more healthy for the fish. So they get that stuff, but the smell of this stuff is dominating. So 80% of this stuff probably and 20% of super green or something. So let's go to the next unboxing. Yep, yep. I think I know what's in this one. Waiting quite a while for it. I haven't used this stuff in a while either, but yeah, can be really good sometimes. The typical eBay bag. Kutapa leaves, not the best quality apparently, <laughs> but still. So I'm gonna try to add some katapa leaves to cube with the green neon tetras. Till the next unboxing. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> it's gonna last a while. I'm gonna use it for the turtles. One of the turtles is a little bit more scared than the other ones. If you watch my channel for a while, you know it's Leonardo. He's a little bit afraid. And we have this. Very small. But I wanted to be one of the first to try it. It was expensive. I'm gonna make a video when I feed this to the goldfish. Very small. Usually buy a lot bigger rapashi jars. I don't know. I really like the super green rapashi. And you can mix in whichever rapashi kind you want. In with the super green. The super green is already really good for them. Or just use pure soil and green. So I don't know why you would use this special one. But we'll see. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this was a bunch of different kinds of food, also from Tropical. I never used them before, but we got a lot of people saying that they are good but cheap. So I want, oh shit, big flakes. <laughs> so, different kinds of high quality flakes. It's supposed to be that, at least. It's gonna last me a while. Super small pellets, good for all the auto feeders. Auto feeders works best with super small pellets or grams. And so this is the regular kind. Community Plus. Never tried it. It's supposed to be a lot of shrimp in it. Usually fish love when it, the food smells like shrimp. Look at this. Of course this was more expensive, but not by much. <laughs> so, I don't know about this. But Rupashi Dandy Randa, maybe that's the case. Don't buy the small ones. So much more for the money in the big ones. Bigger ones. They have a huge one, but... I want. I'd rather buy four different kinds of these than one big of one kind. I have so much different fish, so many different kinds of fish. You know what I mean. Let's see what we have in the box today. This actually took a long time since winter in my part of Sweden has been really late this year so we still have super cold weather and a lot of snow these great sinking foods I mean you try rapashi, you try live food, you try frozen food I don't know what they keep in this stuff but the stuff I ordered today, I just remember now when I see this, is the stuff that all my bottom dwelling fish and endlers and small other schooling nano fish are getting crazy about. This Sarah Wipa ships is old school, really old school. I usually feed Sarah Wells ships, but this stuff is amazing. Corridoras go nuts for it. And all the Plecos as well. Oh, just super small tetra grass. Uh, something to feed the rainbows with. Just wanted to change it up a little bit. I've been feeding them some other super small grass, but I'm gonna try this and see if they like it. This was on sale, super cheap, so. And this one. I've shown you this one before. Sounds like I'm just hyping Tetra. I kind of am, but I don't get anything for it. These pellets. Okay, I need to open it. These pellets, same as the Wipa ships, has some weird mixture of uh, shrimp in them. And apparently it smells very good, because even if my big aquarium with the Fajaka, I put in these tablets and all endlers start to gather up around that small tab on the bottom. I mean, endlers, they are easy to feed, but they are a little bit harder to feed in guppies since their mouths are so small. And in a big aquarium, it's harder for them to find the food all the time so when you have a tab like this they really smell it and they really gather up around it and it's amazing and same with uh, all my nano fish this has been the most favorite food better than rapashi better than frozen foods Seriously, better than frozen foods. I don't know what I put in it, but it smells good to the fish. And last but not least, bum bum. Another jug. 
two gallons now. It's five liters. It's not two gallons, but almost 4.5. No, what did I say? 1.8 gallons or something. But this will last me for six and seven weeks for all aquariums, so that's good. And I have another one. Just bought this one now to get the free shipping. So, I mean, these foods are amazing. I, this is expensive. It seems expensive. I mean, this small little jar, but it's 275 tablets in this. So, I don't know, two or three tablets two times a day to my 130 green neon tetras so if you think about it like that it's not that expensive so if you have super small nano fish feed this promise me and this to your bottom dwelling fish trust me on this one this would actually um, lure out all my fancy plecos so it must smell amazing so to the next bit guys <laughs> more stuff Boom! Not a sponge filter. I need one for the giant ram's horns. I'm gonna run two of these instead of just one. I don't know what this is. Isn't that fun? And you don't know? Another Eheim auto feeder. I'm slowly getting to buy an auto feeder for each tank. I'm gonna tell you why in the future. It's very necessary for me. And this was a long time ago, since it's a really a luxury, not a necessity. But white mosquito larva. I bought six packs. Now I have some really nice food for the rainbows. Let's continue with more unboxing. It's great. I'm sure you all have noticed by now that all these unboxings are not the same day. It's better to do it like, like that. Then I, me, I don't have to wait to see what it is. But you can see it all in one video. Bum ba da bum. Air pump. Great. I bought one of these because my Eheim air pump uh, broke down. And that was like four times as expensive than this one because it was the biggest Eheim air pump. So I just thought I return that one and buy other things that is actually coming tomorrow. So it's also going to be in this video. Um, for that money I got from the, and buy this cheap one instead. So this is I bought this one to have an extra one in the fish room. And how lucky was I because the other one broke down, so I had one. But now I'm going to attach this one to the giant snails, giant ramsor snails in the kitchen. Because I want two sponges in there. With two sponges I can clean one of them in the sink. In tap water. And just throw it back in. Because the other one can handle the bio load. So I can just take the other one and then take the other one. You know what I mean. I love running two filtration. So this is for that. And some airline tubing. I've been buying a little bit at a time. Now I bought, so I will never have to buy again. <laughs> so I know this stuff in these videos aren't the best, most entertaining stuff to look at, but this is my birthday money and, and I'm going to buy stuff I really need since I don't know when I can buy a lot of stuff again. So I'm not just buying fun stuff, I'm going to buy food 
water conditioner and some small other tick, uh, aquarium tech products that I really need. But still, it's fun. Remember, I also got that Eheim filter and I actually got more stuff, but they came in the morning and I opened the box when I was tired and then <laughs> forget about filming it. So some more stuff than this, but this is a lot. It's going to last me a while, especially with food. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye fish lovers.